Thomas Gibson Hobbs graduated from Virginia Christian College in 1904 as a member of its first graduating class. After earning a law degree from the University of Virginia, he settled in Lynchburg and began a highly successful career as an attorney. In January of 1915, he was invited to attend a meeting of the College Board of Trustees, during which the possibility of closing the college due to financial concerns was to be considered. Mr. Hobbs spoke eloquently of the need to fight for the college's existence, and the board decided to continue operating the institution. He was asked to serve on the board at that meeting and served as a chairman of the Board of Trustees from 1918 until his tragic death in 1942. Mr. Hobbs was a guiding light as the college changed its name to Lynchburg College and moved toward becoming an accredited liberal arts institution. His relationships with the economic power structure of the city played a critical role as the young college struggled financially through the depths of the Great Depression. His belief in Josephus Hopwood's vision of the college never wavered as reflected in his message to the student body in the late 1930s. Lynchburg College, with continued wise leadership, is just on the threshold of development into an institution which will, in still larger measure, build sound leadership in church and school and state, a leadership which will look for its reward in the consciousness of service rendered and a task well done. Upon his death in 1942, the Board of Trustees unanimously adopted a resolution of appreciation which named Mr. Hobbs as, quote, the college's greatest leader, unquote.